Alrighty, friends, welcome back into day four of the free to play series. We're going to do just a pretty quick video today. Uh, should be around like eight, nine minutes long. Um, what I wanted to do was just go over purely where we are at with the account and with 1.4 coming out tomorrow, uh, what our plans are going into that banner and with the event and everything like that. So let's go ahead and just take a look at our tasks first. Right now we are sitting uh, at seven of nine on act eight. I'm sorry, eight of nine. We're almost done with those. We need two more missions, which is the uh, Poussière five and collect 140 stars. I would say uh, right now with where we have our characters and everything, the stage that I'm on is probably it's probably doable if I just expend all the resources I have into the characters. But we have, you know, 37 coming out tomorrow. So we wanted to save some of the resources to make sure that we have enough to at least get her to I2 uh, as quickly as possible to get her viable on the team as well. We did bump up Regulus and Sweetheart to get these two characters up there. Uh, Sonetto will be my next one that I bump up unless we just get um, some crazy lucky mineral uh, off of uh, Banner along with 37. But in regards to what we have right now, uh, 37 is going to be the first one I push all the way to I3. And uh, next after that will probably be Sweetheart to I3 unless we get another Beast uh, DPS. Eagle, I'm most likely going to keep him at um, where he is right now. Necrologist is another one that I'm thinking about pushing up. The reason I'm, I'm, I'm wanting to push her up is because of the... Um, or no, it wasn't Necrologist. I'm sorry. Who are we looking at? Nope. Nope. I have no idea. I forgot who I was thinking about. But um, yeah, Necro. Oh, here we go. Satsuki right here. <laughs> I was like, where did she go? Uh, the reason I wanted to bring her up is because with her ult, she gets uh, two stacks of Riggedy, which uh, turns into Petrify. So that's a pretty good, um, I would say, early game kind of uh, you know skill to use, especially when you don't have a lot of variety. Uh, she will help out in the artificial sambambulance, especially early game. So let's go ahead and take a look where we are. We are on chapter 4, 11. Um, pretty much almost done. We just got a little bit more to go to get all of this stuff unlocked. So we're a little bit over halfway. Tomorrow, once we get 37, um, fingers crossed we get her early on so we can save summons. Um, once we get 37, we're going to expunge all the resources into her to make her our main damage dealer for the account for right now. For the resource stages, we are at five, which we can do that. I'll knock that one out. And we are at five on here as well. As for the harvest, we're on number four. I need to knock this one out tomorrow morning. And on here, we are on part five. I also need to knock this one out tomorrow morning. I didn't push anyone to Insight 2 until just now uh, before making the video, so I haven't even tried these yet. But we'll wait till tomorrow morning to where we have the full team uh, ready to go. Other than that, uh, Wilderness is probably like three levels away for each of those to get it maxed out. We can go ahead and place more Wilderness to get that 80. Knock that out of the way. And the last thing, let's look at the, how do you say this word? Somnambulism. Somnambulism. Okay. AS. We're calling it AS. Artificial AS from now on. Here, I have not pushed any more from number four, but I'm pretty sure we can knock all of this stuff out um, by tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we'll be able to knock that out and grab a couple things from the shop. We've already built up a good amount. Here, we're not going to have enough unless we put it on farm for a couple times, which is the first one of these that I'm looking to get. 
uh, I think that is a very important thing to look at once you hit your first 210, which one of these should you get? So this is a very good one with the critical rate uh, and it boosts it or stacks it. Whenever you score a critical hit, you get critical damage. That's a choice that I'm thinking of. Blasphemer of the Night. Um, this is a good one to pair with. Um, good Lord, I forgot her name. Sweetheart. That's a good one to pair with Sweetheart since she is going to be one of my main damage dealers for right now. Uh, it is a possibility going in there. Uh, Brave New World is always good. This one's just kind of good for anyone. Gets their ultimate might up. And Hopscotch is also another good for incantation and uh, ultimate might as well. Most likely, I'm going to go Hopscotch. It's a... Uh, I keep clicking out of there. Sorry. Most likely, we're going to go Hopscotch as the first one. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's take a look. Yeah, so I think Hopscotch is definitely the best choice from where we are right now that just is going to add the most value to your account. Uh, this one can be used on most damage dealers as like just a base incoming uh, six star. Um, and it's fairly easy to get. We're on day four right now. We're at 120. We haven't refreshed any of the uh, runs here on the resources do 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 on this right here we haven't refreshed any tomorrow we'll be getting five so it'll be the first reward of 20 which will put us at 140 and then i believe the fix is two so you get two per run yeah it's not worth it um we should have enough by the eighth day to get our first item from the shop so hopscotch on day eight uh, will be coming home, if not one day before, uh, because of the last stage that we unlock. That's where we'll be at. But anyways, guys, if y'all have any questions, uh, tomorrow I'll be doing a little bit earlier video. I'm going to try to wake up early to go ahead and do summons for 37. And then we'll do a summon video on both of my accounts. So I'm not wasting a free to play video with summons on it. So I'm going to be doing summonings on my normal account and my free to play account tomorrow as one video just for the fun, you know, summons on them. And then later on that day, once I've leveled up 37, gotten through the content and done a little bit of the event, we'll go ahead and talk about what day five consisted of um, with 37 on the team and the new event coming out. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all so much for stopping by. I appreciate all the support on this as well. I'm really hoping that every single one of these videos on a day-to-day -day basis is bringing you guys some sort of value uh, and knowledge for your account progression. Like I said in every video, if there's anything that I do miss or um, maybe I talked about too quick uh, or maybe too little, please let me know down in the comments. I, I am taking the advice of everyone that you're leaving comments or not so much the advice, but the information that you're um, asking for. I'm trying to provide that in the next video. So Anyways, guys, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll be doing this daily until day 90. It should be three months or maybe like 80-something, depending on the days in the month. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Peace.